Hi everyone, welcome to our presentation on contention and space management in B-trees. My name is Adnan Al-Humsi and this is joint work with Victor Lies at the University of Vienna. This work is also part of the new store, which is a high-performance storage engine that is motivated by two recent trends in hardware, the many-core CPUs and NVMe SSDs. At the core of our engines, we have developed and designed a lightweight buffer manager that uses pointer squeezing and an efficient page replacement strategy. On top of that, we use B3 for indexing because of their high fan out. To scale our B3 index on multi-core CPU, we synchronize our trees with optimistic log coupling. When we looked at the scalability of our B3, in depth, we found out that optimistic log coupling eliminate read contention and allow read mostly workload to scale linearly, but it was not enough to scale OLTP and write heavy workloads on many core CPU. As we see in this graph, um, the performance of TPCC with 100 warehouses scaled well up to 30 cores, but not beyond 50. After we profiled our system, we have found that our scalability was bottlenecked by really high contention on some B3 nodes. And that contention was unnecessary because those threads wanted to update different tuples, but they had to wait on each other just because those tuples were in the same node. So as we see in our example, thread 2 is blocked and waiting on thread 1 although it wants to update D and not A. And this brings us to our first contribution, contention split, which solves this problem. So what does it do? It first detects this contention scenario, then and splits the, the node halfway between the two frequently updated tuples, separating them in different nodes protected by different latches, which allow both threads to update their tuples simultaneously. One question remains, how do we detect contention? Well, after we update a tuple in a node, we update with a probability of let's say 25% three special contention counters that are embedded in the buffer frame of each page. So. Um, the top one tell us how many times have we sampled the update so far and how many of them have faced contention. The so bottom one saves the position of the last tuple we have updated. When the updates counter reaches a certain limit, let's say 6, we evaluate these counters. And in this case, we see that all of the update operations have phase contention and the last two tuples we updated were different. Therefore, we split the node halfway between 0 and 3. The resulting two nodes might be under full, but this isn't fair enough if we trade um, a little bit of space for um, a great improve in performance. But if the workload shifts its contention points with time, these split nodes will remain under full. And actually, the problem of under full nodes exists in B trees even without contention split. So the textbook variant guarantees a minimum space utilization of around 50%. This is can be lower in practice, which waste our buffer pool memory and leads to read and write amplification. So to encounter these problems and improve space utilization in bean trees, we propose our second technique, XMERGE. So in a standard B tree, the normal merge operation work only on pairs of nodes. But in many cases, the nodes are slightly 
more ore filled than the 50% threshold. So we need another merge operation that merges x nodes in x minus 1. And ours achieves this by shifting tuples to the right, which leaves the leftmost node empty. So here we see, so here we move 50% of node B to node C first, then we move all tuples from node A to node B, which leaves node A empty, so we can free it and release its memory. Well, which nodes and when do we use XMerge depends on the system we are trying to integrate it in. In the Linux case, we use XMerge lazily in a background thread. So whenever our system runs out of memory, we select a random page in our buffer pool. And let's say we hit the one which contains node A. So then we examine the neighboring nodes of A and try to find up to five nodes, including A, that have a total free space of one node. We first try with two nodes, but they don't fulfill our condition. We expand our group by one to include node C, and now we have the required free the total free space. So we apply XMerge on them, and we get one node less. Now let's move to the evaluation. We integrated both techniques in Lean Store and ran all of our experiments on a 64 cores machine with 256 gigs of RAM and four enterprise SSDs in the RAID 0 configuration. We start by evaluating our first technique, contention split, using in memory TPC C with 100 warehouses. What we can see in the figure is that our technique eliminates the scalability bottleneck and allows us to make use of the CPU cores we have. Next, we, we evaluate the second technique, XMerge, by measuring the storage cost of different datasets using random and sorted insertion order. The resulting space savings ranges from 23% to even 58%. And in the last experiment, we combined both techniques in a TPCC benchmark using 120 threads. On the left side, we see the in-memory results where the working set fits in memory. Here, the contention split gives us a, a, a consistent performance and scales well on our 20, 120 threads regardless of the number of the warehouses we use. In the out of memory case, after we zoom in, we can see that the contention split has no impact, but XMerge improves the performance by around 25%. To understand why, we can look at the read writes that our system has to do per transaction. Well, and we can see here that XMerge manages to reduce the read and write amplification by 30%, which um, explains the performance again we, we had. To summarize, we have presented two techniques for B-trees in this paper. The first one, contention split, detects unnecessary contention on nodes and splits them to allow higher concurrency. The second one, XMerge mainly saves space by lazily merging neighboring nodes together. While well, both techniques are complementary and they can help each other. If the node split by contention split become cold with time, XMerge will eventually merge them back. And if XMerge by chance brought frequently updated tuples together in one node, contention split will split them back. Because both techniques only rely on the flexibility of B trees, they can be easily integrated into existing database systems. 
If you are interested, you can check our code and other new store related papers on newstore.io. Thank you for listening.